A child in Madison is alive tonight, but came within inches of becoming yet another shooting victim. That has police looking for suspects and a West Side neighborhood nervous about it happening again. Madeline O'Neill spoke with people living near Loreen and Hammersley, and that's where we find her tonight. Maddie? Well, we know it's been a violent year so far here in Madison with record numbers of shots fired incidents as well as homicides, including the shooting death of 11 year old Anissa Scott. Today, people in this neighborhood want all shootings to stop before someone else gets hurt. Denario Cienfuegos impression of his community is changing. It is in the quiet neighborhood over here for the last 10 years, but I mean, Probably not anymore. <laughs> he says five or six gunshots shattered the otherwise quiet night, leading he and his wife to call 911 around 10 p.m. I mean, we call about probably 10 times from three different phones, and I uh, was just the ring, you know, here and busy. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Probably a lot of people call around here. The bullets hit a nearby house, shattered windows, and barely missed an eight year old child and an adult inside. They didn't want to speak with us on camera, but allowed us to see the damage. Cienfuegos told us this happened before. Oh, this is the second night. I think it's in the same house. Uh, I don't know what's going on. The shooting close to a park also gave Donna Petty Valenzuela a startling introduction to her new community. You can't let disagreements rise to that level that you are pulling a weapon. She's just moving in, yeah. hoping to live in a home where she and her son yeah. with disabilities yeah. feel safe. And so it's very concerning to me that there, there is that kind of danger in the neighborhood and he might not recognize it. He is an escape risk. She knows they aren't the only ones impacted, but hopes whoever's behind the shooting will change for the better. Well, even if they were angry with somebody else, that eight-year-old child didn't need to be involved in it. And there's plenty of people in this neighborhood that don't need to be involved in it. Madison police haven't arrested anyone in connection with this yet, but are looking into a couple incidents within the same time frame to see if they might be connected. Now, we also spoke with Interim Chief Vic Wall about this close call. We'll hear more from him coming up at 6. All right, Maddie, thank you.